Which comparison is true? Let's turn them all into square, perfect squares. All right, so that's the square root of 16. 4.5, let's look at the other side. Fine, 4.5. So multiply these out together. So I got Sixteen plus two is eighteen. So I get all right the square root of twenty point two five. Well, wait a second. Is eighteen in between those two? Yes, it is. So A is the correct answer. All right, twenty one. Um, we have another triangle and another transformation, all right? It's dilated this time. Now remember, dilation means it's going to get bigger uh, with its center at the origin. And the origin is right here. So it's getting dilated by a scale factor of 3. And then the dilation is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to create Rectangle A, E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime. What are the coordinates of the vertices of that? All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a straight line. This is going to be my and so the new shape will have vertices along these lines and they're using the scale factor of 3. So, I go over 1, up 3. So over 1 times 3 is 3. 1, 2, 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 1. So we have 3 comma 9. So let's see which ones have 3. Oh, but then I have to rotate it. Crud. So then let's do this again. So now we have 9 comma 3. So here's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 9, 1, 2, 3. So then over here we have 9 and 3. Okay, it's going to be somewhere over here. Sorry, my line wasn't perfect. And same deal over here. So 9, 3, all right, and now let's rotate this, and we're rotating it 90 degrees clockwise. It's going to be somewhere around here. All right, negative 4, comma 6. Negative 4, 6. That's going to be over there. Well, that, that is plausible. Um, 6, comma, negative 4. 6, negative 4. Now that's clearly not right. So we know this one doesn't work. Oops, sorry. B, 4 comma 6, 4 comma negative 6. Now that does look like it might be plausible. Uh, negative 6 comma 4, so negative 6 comma 4. Well, no, it's, it's too high. Oh, geez. Come on. So that one doesn't look right. It really does not want to cooperate with it. Come on. It's like I'm overloading the computer. All right. There we go. All right, so the answer ends up being C. Because I did not rotate it well enough. And the reason why I know it's C is because when I did my dilation, I end up with threes and nines. So that that can 
right now tell you that the, those two are off. I know it's C because a three, I don't end up with three common negative nine. I just don't. So I know it's C. 22. Weather station recorded the amount of rain that fell during an eight hour time uh, using a rain gauge. The findings are recorded. All right. Between which hours was the rate greater than the rate in which the rain? Okay. So this has a slope of one and a half over one. So that's one or th three over two. Uh, the, this definitely was going at two. So we want option B because that has a slope of two. Which day, each day of the month, Carl earns an allowance. That was my dad's name, Carl. In cents, equal to the square of the date of the month. Which is the number of cents Carl would earn in a single day? So we're looking for a square number. There's only one square number, and that's 64. All right, which set of ordered paired miles a function? Well, clearly not this one, because we have 5 multiple times in the x value. Clearly not this one, because we have negative 1 half multiple times. This one has 2 repeated, so it can't be this one. So I was just looking at the x value, so I was looking for repeats in the x value. Number 25. The company used about 7.4 times 10 to the 5th sheets of paper in a month. Of the paper used during the month, the accounting department used about that much of sheets. How many more sheets of paper were used by other departments during the month? All right, so we have 7.4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 74, sorry, 740,000. This department had one, two, three. So we had eight, nine, zero, zero. So we subtract zero, zero, nine, one, 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 three, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. 7.3 times 10 to the fifth is clearly the answer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, which number is irrational? An irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction with whole numbers. Now, you would be very tempted to say this one because you know square roots are irrational, but the square root of 121 is 11. These are already whole numbers, so you know that is definitely a rational number. So these two are out. Now this one is curious. It has a pattern, but this pattern doesn't repeat over and over again. That is the earmark of an irrational number. This one does. So it's not right. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to do the second half on another video.